Love oyster sauce, but want a better way to make it healthier? I love oyster sauce, but to be honest with you, I haven't used it for a while because uh, I don't want to say this is going to get a little bit awkward. If you read the label, you will see it's filled with sugar, additives, and synthetic flavorings. But I love the sauce, it just makes food so much more delicious. So what do I do? Hmm, you don't think I'm going to give up, right? Challenge accepted. So I was thinking there must be a way to make it my own and I want to make a vegetarian version. But I'm so busy, so if I'm going to make it myself, it has to be easy and delicious. Otherwise, what's the point? So I went on a little copycat experiment. I know I need dry shiitake mushrooms because, by the way, someone thought these are turtle shields. No, 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 no turtles, okay? The dehydrated shiitake pack was more concentrated umami flavor than the fresh ones. And if you soak them overnight, the rehydrated shiitake makes the best mushroom stock that will add so much flavor to our vegetarian mushroom oyster sauce. But what else do I need? I know oyster sauce has soy sauce, or we can use coconut aminos if you are paleo or can have wheat or soy. But I also need something sweet so the sauce will taste more complex. Should I use regular sugar? Or dates? In the end, I decided to go with the dates. Because dates give a gentle and almost caramelized sweetness that I think it works really well in this context. And dates are much gentler to our bodies because it's less likely to cause a sudden sugar spike. And that gives you sugar crash. So to make it really delicious, I diced the shiitake. And sauté them with a little ginger, with a pinch of salt and a dash of coconut aminos. Then I seek out my most devoted and powerful kitchen helper. Now let's just dump everything in the mushroom water, saute the mushrooms with ginger, pity dates, more salt, and coconut aminos. Make sure to cover the lid real tight or it might burst, unless you want mushroom facial. When it's done, the sauce should be very smooth. Mmm, wow! It's salty and has rich shiitake mushroom flavor and a hint of a sweetness from the dates. The coloring is lighter because there's no full coloring and coconut amino has a lighter color than soy sauce. I'm happy that the sauce has a good consistency and we didn't use any starch. And that, my friend, is my take on making a healthier and with no additive vegetarian mushroom oyster sauce. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to use the sauce that we just made to make one of my favorite Chinese dishes, oyster beef stir fry. And as always, my goal is to reinvent the dishes that I grew up eating and make them lighter, healthier, and still taste so yummy. Leave a comment below, let me know what you think. You can find the recipe details on my website in the link below. And if you're making it, share it on Instagram, be sure to tag me, I would love to see it. My name is Chiyu Smith from iHeartUmami, I will see you in the next video.